All right. Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back to section two. This is the first lesson in section two. In this lesson, I would like to take some time to get you familiarized with the project, the current project setup, and how we are going to move forward uh, with this project throughout the whole course. I also want to tell you uh, a couple of things uh, that you should know about how the project is structured and the way I suggest that you follow through with me. All right, so first of all, the setup that I have here for the project is very, very simple. I have a Next.js um, app, which is, if you don't know anything about Next.js, so you can check them out from their website. And I am running uh, Chakra UI component library. So these are the two main kind of like things or big components or big things that I'm using uh, to make this happen. Right now we have many links in um, the nav bar, but some of these links are broken. They will be gone in the next commit, so don't worry about them. We are only working here in tasks. If you don't know anything about Chakra UI, uh, then you, I, I will help you pick that up along the way. Uh, it's a very simple uh, component library, but it's also extremely, extremely powerful. And it will allow you to build things that are, look really, really cool, and everything will be dark mode compatible as well. At the same time, Next.js is kind of like my way to go when you build something on the fly. For me, it's the Create React app, uh, but it's the one that I use most of the time. It handles routing out of the box with file system routing, and it does automatic code splitting and server side rendering. It does really, really, really cool stuff. Now, I've chosen not to show you how I got to this point with the setup, installing Next.js and installing React and all of that stuff. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that would be a waste of time of the course and I want the course to be 100% focused on uh, React D&D and what uh, we can learn about React D&D and how to use it to produce something that you can actually add to your resume. Now, if you don't know anything about Chakra UI or Next.js, you can pick it up along the way and you don't really need to know anything about both of these uh, things uh, before you start. In fact, if you don't want to learn anything about Next.js, you are not going to interact with it at all uh, during uh, the time of, um, um, of this course. I'm also assuming that most people who are interested into taking a course like an intermediate level course like this would actually know about Next and so on. The second thing I want to introduce you to is this. This is um, Git Kraken. So it's an app that will show you the history of whatever is happening in the repo. So if you download the repo and follow with me um, throughout the lessons, you will see this structure here. So this is uh, master, forget about master. It's very like, yeah, this is kind of less lesson one. This is kind of my me doing all the setup. And you can go through there if you want to look at how I did the setup on your, on your own. And I will have one branch uh, per section. And in each of, the, uh, each of these branches, there will be different commits showing you the start of each lesson. So right now we are here, start of lesson one. And you can right click this and go out, check this commit. Check out this commit. And then you can follow up from the start of lesson two, start of lesson three, and so on. I suggest that you actually do the same thing. So go ahead and download Git Kraken as well from here. And um, just open up the repo once you clone it, and you'll be good to go. You can roam around uh, the whole course uh, throughout this idea. Just right click there and check out this commit, and you'll be golden. Now, when it comes to code, what I will do now is I will simply just hover this here. All right, now this looks really weird, but let me try to make it slightly better. All right, good. So the way this uh, project is structured right now, we have folder called pages and another folder called components. And inside pages, the, these are the, um, the routes that we have here. Right now we have index and tasks. So index is just gonna show you, um, let's get started from here. And tasks is where we have this very simple setup. At the same time, we have the underscore app.tsx. This is going to be the file that defines everything that wraps around everything in our app. So if right now you can see, I have a theme provider and a color mode provider. And these are the two things that allow allow me to use the, the, the stock theme from Chakra UI and also be able to switch color modes on the fly like this. 
Um, so this is this is this is one of the reasons why I really like using Next.js for a quick project like this. So because you can just bang in everything that you want in your underscore app, and you can wrap around all the main providers there. Another thing, also, if you haven't noticed, is that I am using TypeScript, and I think TypeScript is a great thing to add to your workflow. It can be really frustrating if you're starting with TypeScript. I will be explaining things as I do them, and Considering what we are going to do, TypeScript is not going to be a major hassle for you. In fact, it's just going to help you. And if you don't know anything about TypeScript, you can either just ignore it or and just write normal JavaScript. Or if you don't want to do that, you can pick up the things as I go through them because trust me, it's not going to be much at all. TypeScript is an awesome tool and I think it's here to stay. And if you don't know anything about it, then try to use this course as an um, opportunity for you to know more about it. I also want to explain what's going on here in this page. So the way this works right now is that I have a grid layout here, a very simple grid layout. Yep, let me use the Firefox magic here to show stuff. So yes, this is a very simple grid layout. So I am using the grid component from Chakra UI and I am giving a, a column template of one fractional unit, but the width of this component of this div here is only 80% of the view. So if you highlight it that way, you can see it's only that side only, and we have two. And inside that we have two boxes, one box here and one box here. These two boxes, one of them is going to be for work in progress tasks, and the other one is going to be for the done tasks. Okay, so I think this is a good introduction to know what's going on in the code base. Right now, the code base is extremely simple. We only have tasks and we have the nav bar. If you want to go ahead and read through this and just to know more about it, go ahead and read through it. There's not, it's not really related to what we are trying to do here. It's just a very simple setup. All right, that's all for this lesson. I will see you guys in the next one.